It's white on Olaf. It's free game for coloring. This is what Olaf looks like before you color him. And here are all the supplies that come with this set. Here are the fun summery stickers and snowflakes, of course. Let's get to coloring. Color this first snowflake a green color. Ooh, let's make sure we see the lines. And I think we'll use the orange naps on this next snowflake over here on the side. This one's a big one. I think Olaf probably likes orange because it's so summery. Let's make the next snowflake a cold blue color. But we'll spice it up with some green mixed in. That green section kind of looks like little flowers. Now we'll do a green alien snowflake. And we'll make the spots on this side blue too so it matches the other side. Now let's go back and get all the little spots on Olaf. I wonder if those are freckles. Or maybe moles. Or maybe he spent too much time out in the sun. Looks good. Oh, but wait, we missed one. Let's get the back of Olaf colored. The front was the wintry side, and now we're on the back, which is the summery side. Now nothing says summer like a bright, beautiful sun. We'll color the inside orange, and then we'll borrow a marker from another set and color the yellow. Let's jazz up this sun by doing a little bit of a pattern. We'll do orange on every other spike, and then we'll add in the yellow. Now let's color the clouds up in the sky. Maybe those are the clouds that Elsa creates to help Olaf stay alive during the summer. Let's go ahead and leave a little bit of that white space up above in the clouds to make them look like real clouds. These markers are awesome! This beach ball will look wonderful in this nice lime green, and then we'll add some orange to it to make it look striped like a real beach ball. Oops, we got a little bit off on the side there. That was good enough to play with. Let's switch it up and make our bees green. Don't they look fun? And then we'll add some yellow in. Maybe they're citrus bees. <laughs> Let's make this fun striped umbrella to keep the sun off of Olaf so that he doesn't melt. I wonder what temperature Olaf has to be in order to stay around in the summer. Maybe Elsa would help Frosty the Snowman stay around during the summer. He should give her a call. Do you think Elsa would help out Frosty if he asked her to? Hey, that umbrella's looking great. We're using this lovely green color from the Elsa set we did earlier. Let's color this straw hat. I like this orange for the straw hat, and then we'll grab that yellow again from the other set and fill in the outside. And don't forget Olaf's sunglasses. That's an important part of his summer apparel. Now the back of him's all colored. Doesn't it look great? If we actually wanted to do it again, we could put him in the wash, follow the instructions, and start all over again. Don't forget the stickers. We have ones that match the things on the back, including a bee, a hat, sunglasses, a beach ball, a sun, and another umbrella. Looks like a summery scene on Olaf's back right now for all those fun summer things. Let's add our cute little snowflake stickers to Olaf's cheeks. When we're all done with the coloring and decorating, let's store these markers on this loop on Olaf's head, and this will actually make it really easy for us to find the markers next time we want to color. Remember that Olaf is washable, so you can color him as many times as you want. So now we've colored the Olaf doll and the Elsa doll. Make sure to check back later to see if we're going to go ahead and color the Anna doll. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. And in the comments section, tell us whether you think Olaf and Frosty are friends. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello, Disney Card Toys here, taking over the Toys Review Toys channel, and today I'm going to make a Halloween costume for Princess Anna using Play-Doh. I made a couple outfits on my channel, Disney Card Toys, and I asked everyone at the end of the video what kind of Halloween costume that you'd like to see on Anna, and someone suggested the cutest idea ever to turn her into a cupcake. So that's what we're going to do today. For my Play-Doh cupcake costume, I'm going to use this cute yellow Play-Doh Plus for the frosting, light pink Play-Doh for the cupcake itself, and some red Play-Doh for the cherry on top. You'll also need a Play-Doh extruder and a knife. To make your Play-Doh costume, the first thing I'm going to make is the cupcake portion of the outfit. So just take the light pink Play-Doh and wrap it around on his body. And I know I'm going to get questions in the comments about this. This is not my hands. No, I do not have hairy arms. So, <laughs> not me. I'm just voicing this thing. So let's just wrap the Play-Doh around Anna. And this piece that we're putting on right now doesn't need to be perfect. It's basically just a base. So just wrap that around Anna. It looks pretty good. And then we'll add another layer on top of this. You want to take a Play-Doh roller to make a second layer, which will be nice and smooth. And if you don't have a roller, you can always use your hands too. And then just wrap the Play-Doh around in the back. And you can kind of mold it with your fingers to make it look nice and smooth and help it connect too. But this looks a lot better. See how smooth the second layer is? You'll want to push in the bottom of the cupcake just to make everything even. And you can even use the doll as a roller just to make it smooth, <laughs> which is kind of funny. 
Now that the cupcake base is complete, I'm going to draw lines just from top to bottom on the cupcake base to make it look like a wrapper. To make the cupcake base look nice and pretty, you want to cut the lines kind of deep. And I'm going to put them pretty close together too. Oh, it's hard making this cupcake without being hungry. Now I really want a cupcake. Here's Anna with her cupcake base. Right now, since we don't have the frosting, it kind of looks like she's wearing a barrel or a really big towel or something. So we've got to add the frosting fast to make her look like a cupcake. For the frosting, you just have to load up the extruder with some Play-Doh Plus. Play-Doh Plus is super soft and basically born to be frosting. It is the perfect frosting consistency. Since this is a Halloween costume, it's going to be realistic, but not super realistic. So what I'm going to do is actually line the top of the cupcake base with the frosting. I'm basically extruding it and then just stick it to the base. Luckily, Play-Doh sticks to Play-Doh pretty well. And then to make Anna super delicious, just put a little bit of frosting right on her head. Don't worry. It doesn't stick in her hair or anything. She'll be fine. Alrighty, here is the Anna cupcake with frosting on top. But wait a minute, something's missing here. Yep, that's right. She needs her cherry on top. Every cupcake needs something on top, either sprinkles or candy, or in this case, a cherry. The cherry is super easy to make. Just take a little glob of red Play-Doh and roll it into a ball. And once you have your cherry perfectly rolled out into a ball, just place it on top of the frosting. And here is our Anna cupcake costume. It's so cute and probably my favorite one so far. I'm so glad that I did a pink cupcake base. It looks so delicious. Her frosting looks so good on her too. If you want to see more fun Play-Doh costumes like this one, please click like and subscribe. And also in the comments, let me know what other kind of Play-Doh outfits you'd like to see. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm taking over my husband's Toys Review Toys channel to show you how to make a Play-Doh Minnie Mouse dress on Princess Anna. And not only am I going to show you how to make the Play-Doh dress, I will also show you how to make the Minnie Mouse ears. To start, I'm going to roll out some of this light pink Play-Doh for the top of the dress. For her dress, I'm going to cut out one long rectangle, and I'll have a little bit of a scoop neck on top and then straight lines for the side. And the dress will have sleeves, I'll add those later. So for right now, we're just going to cut kind of a rectangle shape. And then just press the Play-Doh to Anna's body. I'm going to wrap it around the sides here. You can see the Play-Doh is a little too tall on the side, so I'm going to grab my Play-Doh knife. I'm going to remove some Play-Doh so that the Play-Doh can fit underneath her armpit here. Then wrap it around the back. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And pull the Play-Doh to the back. It's a little long, so just grab your Play-Doh knife, just cut down the middle. We'll rip that off, and then we'll cut down this side as well. The Play-Doh is nice and soft, so we can press down the Play-Doh at the seam. The Play-Doh is not too even on the back here, so just grab your knife, and we'll trim it up on the back just so we have a nice straight line. Now Minnie Mouse's sleeves are pretty poofy, so what I'm going to do is take just two big balls of Play-Doh, and press it to our shoulders. You want to kind of stretch it so that it can attach to the front and the top and the back. And now Anna has some nice poofy Minnie Mouse sleeves. On Minnie Mouse's dress she has a cute little white collar so we'll make that for Anna too. So just draw a thin curved line on top and then the collar on the bottom. So one little loop and another one just like this. Then press the Play-Doh to the top of her neckline. Now that the top of the Minnie Mouse dress is complete, I can roll out a big chunk of pink Play-Doh for the skirt. For the skirt, I'm going to just keep it pretty simple. So we'll draw a nice straight line at the top, slightly curved line at the bottom. I didn't cut the edges of the skirt because I figured we'll cut those when the skirt is on the doll. So press the skirt just at the top by her waist pull the play-doh up just like what I'm doing here. So we're a little bit long on this side so we'll just trim it right here. There we go. And then pull this side up and we'll trim this side off too. Let's take a look at the front first. That's pretty good. Just press the play-doh firmly to her body. This turned out really nice so far. 
Next, to add some color and also to match Minnie Mouse's dress, I'm going to add a hot pink ribbon that will go around Anna's waist and will also cover up the seam between the shirt and the skirt. Alrighty, we've got the ribbon here, so let's wrap it around Anna. Ooh, I really, really like the pink color here. And on the back, it's a little off. I can just rip this off. Rip off a little bit on the other side. And ta-da! You've got it! The last thing we need to add to Anna's Minnie Mouse dress are the polka dots. These are probably the most important things, too, because they make it really look like Minnie Mouse's dress. Now these polka dots, I just rolled out with my fingers little balls, and when you press it flat to the dress, it makes a perfect circle. The Minnie Mouse dress is now complete and it is stunning, but to really make Anna look like Minnie Mouse, I need to make her a little Minnie Mouse ears headband. First I'll make the hair bow, so just grab a little ball of play-doh and then attach it to a little triangle, one for each side here. You can just form it out with your fingers. And then I'll grab my little play-doh knife and do two little cuts on each side just to make it look like the bow is folded. Believe it or not, the play-doh does not stick very well to the doll's hair. They have some kind of hairspray on it, so it doesn't stick well, so what you want to do is do a headband that makes the headband go all the way around her head so that you can attach the play-doh to itself and that will help it stick. Then I'll grab the play-doh bow, stick it onto the headband. For the ears, just take two balls of black play-doh and flatten it out a little bit with your fingertips and attach it to the headband and also attach it in the back to the hair bow. That way it will stick on there pretty well. And voila! Anna is now a Minnie Mouse! Now here's a big question for you. Who do you think looks better in the Minnie Mouse dress, Anna or Minnie Mouse? People, by the way, always ask me how hard it is to get the Play-Doh off. As you can see, it's super easy. It just comes right off. Let me take off your shirt, too. You can just peel it off, no problem. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video by the Disney Car Toys channel or the Toys Review Toys channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Well, Chelsea, did you see all our customers out there? The place is packed. We've got to start working on these orders. I'll go to the tables and take everybody's orders, and then you stay in the kitchen, and why don't you start making the pancake batter? All right, Barbie, I'm ready. Let's start flipping pancakes. Hi Ariel, hi Jasmine, how's it going? Thanks so much for coming by my sister's pancake shop. For today's menu, you have a choice of pancakes or Belgian waffles. What would you like today? Uh, we both heard your pancakes are delish, so we'll both take a stack of pancakes. I am so happy you heard positive things about our pancakes. I love them too. I'll put your order in, and in the meantime, let me know if you need anything. Oh, hi Aunt Elsa, looks like you have the whole family here today. Hi kids, hi Prince Felix. Now what can I get for all of you? Well, I think we all want pretty much the same thing. I'll have pancakes, and Prince Felix will take two orders of pancakes, and we'll have a kid pancake for Felicia. And Alex wants something special. Go ahead and tell her, honey. I want my pancakes to look like Mickey Mouse. Oh, that is just too darn adorable, Alex. We can totally do that for you. You are such a sweetheart. Now let me start making your order. Whoa, 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 Chelsea, Chelsea, we're in trouble. Everybody ordered pancakes and no one ordered waffles. But this place that only came with one pancake. Oh, I knew this would be a problem. Uh-oh, Barbie, that is going to be a problem. What should we do? Chelsea, there's only one thing we can do. We've got to break out the emergency Play-Doh. I know it will taste yucky, but we'll make beautiful pancakes. Oh, Barbie, Play-Doh pancakes are disgusting. Well, we have to do it. Let's make our good pancake though, and then all the rest will make out of Play-Doh. Alright Chelsea, let me just heat up our batter. We'll cook up this good pancake. And now I have to do what Barbie does best, flipping pancakes. 